Most people in life are looking at how do I make a life worth living and return with having. In my history of my business and my living, I have always been a multiple income stream man. I have always been involved in multi-level marketing, although not necessarily the most productive financially for me. I have also always been a service provider, which allows me a monthly income and an annual contract. I have also been someone who has done project work throughout that time, so that I have consistent income and benefits of revenue along the side. Any person like me is always about the same. We are always open to hearing about new things in the marketplace, new technologies that we need, and new sciences that can help us remain healthy today, because everyone ages. In life, we have most of the time to speak the truth, and speaking the truth is about speaking your own truth. What is true for someone else may not be the truth in your mind, but what I want to talk to you about most importantly is whether or not you have the right to speak about someone else's truth that you don't even know. You see, what is true for you, or truth for you, belongs only to you. What is true for someone else and truth for them belongs to them. But here's where we have to draw a fine line. There's a lot of politicians, there's a lot of Christians, there's a lot of Methodists, there might even be some Wiccans. Any type of organization that exists could have these people in it who think that a person's biological information, medical information, cellular health information, or other things like that belong to them as total strangers. And that is just not true. You see, in America we have privacy rights. And privacy rights says, I only have the right to see what you show me today. I only have the right to show you what I want you to see about me.